all right so it turns out that pope francis is now trying to uh make it seem like the sins of fornication and adultery are not that bad he is trying to water down the sins of fornication and adultery I'm going to read this article on the nationalpost.com it uh pope says sex outside marriage is not the most serious sin really is that what god's word says first corinthians chapter five okay when the man in the church was guilty of committing fornication paul said to kick him out of the church when Sodom and Gomorrah were committing fornication, uh, according to Jude chapter 1, verse 7 8, God rained down fire from brimstone from heaven. Because, by the way, homosexuality is fornication. Uh, when Israel was committing fornication, it led to all kinds of problems. Numbers chapter 25, verses 1 to 9, God's wrath almost came down upon Israel. Yeah, fornication is a very serious sin. But again, the Pope wants to downplay it, and you're going to see why he's trying to downplay it. But going to read this article. Quote, it is not the most serious sin, serious because sins of the flesh are not the most serious, Francis told reporters. The sin of adultery is not the most serious, said Pope Francis. Really? Is that what uh, God's word says? The sin of adultery is not the most serious? Let's see what the word of God says about that. Okay. Let's go to the scriptures, something the Roman Catholic Church does not know because they hold their heathen traditions of men above God's holy word. Leviticus chapter 20 verse 10 and the man that committed adultery with another man's wife even he that committed adultery with his neighbor's wife the adulterer and the adulteress shall surely be put to death okay i'm not advocating for capital punishment today but adultery merited the death penalty under the old testament mosaic law but of course the roman catholic church holds their heathen traditions of men above the god's word why because the roman catholic church is pagan greco-roman religion repackaged they are borrowing the sexual perversion that was present in the pagan greek roman empire and just adapting it for today because again it's just a continuation of the heathen roman empire we're going to read the rest of the article Let me make sure i'm full screen oops yeah full screen Speaking to reporters, the pontiff said, quote, sins of the flesh are not the most serious, referring to sex outside of marriage. It is not the most serious sin, because the sins of the flesh are not the most serious, he said. Instead, he called hatred and pride the most serious of sins. Francis made his comments on Monday aboard the papal plane and on, on his return to Rome from a trip from, to Cyprus in Greece. He was asked about the resignation of Paris, Paris Archbishop Michael uh, Upetit, who had requested forgiveness after reports of a relationship with a woman. Uh, the seven-year-old cleric, who is bound to the church's celibacy rule, denied any intimate relationship with the unnamed woman, although Epitit acknowledged his behavior that may have been ambiguous. Now, the church celibacy is the reason why this happened in the first place, okay? The Roman Catholic celibacy for celibacy in the priesthood is why these priests commit fornication, okay? Why do I say that? Because, first of all, for celibacy is a doctrine of devils, according to 1 Timothy chapter 4, verses 1 to 5. But secondly... Uh, why does so many of these celibate priests commit fornication? Because Paul says in 1 Corinthians chapter 7, make sure I'm full screen. No, I'm not. Yeah. Paul says in 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verses 1 to 2, that the way to avoid fornication is to get married. So when you're forcing yourself to remain celibate, you're opening yourself up to commit fornication, especially when you're dealing, when you're having people confess to you their dirty secrets, you're going to get a perverted mind. 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verses 1-2 to two. Now concerning the things whereof you wrote unto me, it is good for a man not to touch a woman. Nevertheless, to avoid fornication, let every man have his own wife, and let every woman have her own husband. Okay? Fornication is avoided by how you do that. You get married. That's how you avoid fornication. For celibacy is just a gateway for fornication. And homosexuality and pedophilia and other kinds of perversion that is common in the Roman Catholic priesthood. That was also common in the pagan Greek Roman Empire, which is just carried on by the Roman Catholic priesthood. But continuing the article, make sure I'm full screen. Yeah, I am. Because last time I was not, I didn't do the full screen thing properly. Quote, it was failing against the sixth commandment. You shall not commit adultery, but not a total one of the small uh, caresses uh, message given to his sanctuary. It is what the accusation is, said Francis. There is a sin, but it is not the worst kind. Francis said he accepted the resignation not because Epita had sinned, but because gossip had left the archbishop in a position where he could no longer govern the diocese, adding that Epita had been the victim of, quote, an injustice. He, the bishop, was condemned, but by whom? By public opinion, by gossip. He could no longer govern, he added. No, he's condemned by the word of God. 1 Corinthians chapter 5 shows that fornication is grounds for being kicked out of a church. Now, the Roman Catholic Church is not a Christian church. I'm just going to get that out there. But let's just pretend for a second it was a Christian church. 
Fornication gets you kicked out of the church. Read 1 Corinthians 5. Fornication, idolatry, drunkenness, and railings get you kicked out of a church. Get, get you kicked out of the membership of a church. And that does not, does not exclude bishops and elders who run the church. They, they're bound to those same rules. Full screen. The 84-year-old leader of the Catholic Church said everyone is a sinner, including himself. Epite is a sinner, as I am, and as was Peter, the bishop of, of whom Christ founded his church. Francis said he still did not have all the details of the case and expected to get them from French bishops when they visit the Vatican soon to discuss the recent report on clerical sexual abuse in the country. I accepted the resignation of Epite, not on the altar of truth, but on the altar of hypocrisy, the Pope says. What about on the altar of the biblical standard that fornication gets you kicked out of the church? Again, Catholicism is not a Christian church, but let's just pretend for a second it was. Uh, the biblical grounds would be he is kicked out because he committed fornication, and also because the celibacy in the priesthood led him to do that. Because Paul says to avoid fornication, you get married in 1 Corinthians 7, 1 to 2. But of course, holy traditions of the Catholic Church reject that. So I just wanted to show you that. Just Pope Francis again inserting his heathen Roman Catholic traditions of men above the scriptures, and also just blatantly denying what God's words is about the sins of fornication and adultery. Very, very serious sins, but the Pope wants to water them down. Why? Because his priesthood is full of those sins. Plain and simple. So don't be deceived by Roman Catholicism. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.